welcome back to Music Scrap, the Musical Scrapper. This is going to be just a short video because I just wanted to try this cool stencil with my 4-inch jelly plate. It's from iStencils.com and it's an Alex Hansen, Alex Hansen Stencils from iStencils.com. And there's several um, of his stencils. Um, doesn't have a name that I can see on it. No. But I bought it and uh, it inspired me to start designing some more of my own. Oh, it's CDS88021. CDS88021. 021 Creative Design Stencils. That's what the CDS stands for. Creative Design Stencils. So I'm going to, I'm continuing with my new colors of the Tim Holtz I got this weekend. I just got the new. Tim Holtz colors up to August. She didn't have the September ones in yet. So for this sample, I'm going to do two layers. So I'm going to do just the plain circle in the fossilized amber. And one moment, I need to get a clean big pretend. So this is going to be a solid color of the fossilized amber. Oh, is it still choppy? Darn it. Oh well. Maybe it won't be choppy when I upload it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh well, if it is, I won't, uh... okay, there's still a little brown on my plate, but that's okay, that's not the true color, here's the true color, it's very pretty yellow, just so you know, there was still some brown on my plate, okay, so, now, I'm going to put the abandoned coral on my jelly plate. I'm going to put the stencil over where I stenciled before and then put the stamp it. Vicki, no problem. Thank you for coming. There you go. Look at that. And of course, there's still that there. And there's still this here. if I can get a better color. Out of that abandoned coral. I should have had my baby wipe more available, but I need to get I'm supposed to go shop. I haven't gone shopping for groceries in like three weeks. <clears throat> Tells you what I where what I've been doing, eating out. 
Okay, I want to try and get some of that true. Hold on. I'm going to do this again. Let's clean the bait. Jelly plate. I'm going out tomorrow. I'd... Oh, yeah, I have to anyway. I have my treatment in the morning, so I'm going to get groceries on the way home. Perfect. Perfection. There we go. That'll clean the plate off. And make sure I dry it off as well. A clean piece of paper towel. All right. So let's get some of this fossilized amber on it. As fossilized amber. Oh, there we go. I think that's going to be nice. Let's try this again. tonight after me I haven't seen her yet Jerry Ann is Jerry Ann's scrapbooking show and she is on at 9 Eastern all right so this time I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit so I get of course, it's going to mix when it goes on anyway. The abandoned coral is going to mix. So, if you want to see the true color of the abandoned coral, I'll do that right there. Beautiful color. Coral. I love coral. Hmm. Have you tried Dick Flex, uh, Cindy? I don't know. <laughs> you said Eileen's asking. That's funny, Paula. Funny. Let's see if I dry this. Perhaps it won't spread as much, but it, it is going to reactivate the... bad so put that over abandoned the coral on top of the fossilized amber Oh, that's prettier. That's more true colors. Let's do it this way. Hi, Teresa. Oh. Oh, yeah, the other Teresa. Sorry. Mountain Teresa. <laughs> yes, I'm getting hungry. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. There we go. Love my new inks. <gasps> These are easily going to be my favorites. I can see me using these a lot more. See, I didn't use my Tim Holtz inks a whole lot for watercolor techniques and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to be using these ones a lot for watercoloring techniques because I love the colors. Because I love the colors. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> this one thing. 
everything turned out for me tonight. But hey, that's what it's all about, right? Testing, see if things work. And if they don't work, I've got two cool backgrounds in my journal. Whoops. There. Very cool. Clean off. Yeah, she may not be home. She might be working late. I know she says she's working lots. So. I do, Eileen. I do like these colors. I do, I do, I do. Now, of course, the minute I sign off, I'm going to find my hand sanitizer, probably. It's probably under my paint cart. I just didn't bother moving it. That back. So, thank you to everyone who came to my stream and hung in through my failures. Well, not failures. Things that didn't work out quite as we thought they might, but the they weren't as re You know what I would what would have worked, Paula? I bet I bet, Paula, if I what if I had used my white um, distress ink stain, if I had used my white distress stain instead of white paint, I bet that would have worked a lot better with the distress inks because it's more liquidy than the or even if I had used. Um, like craft paint instead of the Liquitex. I bet it would have worked better. Don't you think? Try the sprays I made on that paper. On this one, you mean? I did I did but I just I think it was that the white paint didn't have enough wet in it to pull the color up so I think yeah so I might try that yeah next time so for those of you who came late the pages that didn't work out like we thought but are still cool backgrounds I was trying the Paula Oh, oh, I should have left those open. See, now they're peeling. But anyway, whatever. I tried with Tim Holtz reinkers, but it didn't come up through. Did a little bit in a couple of little sp places you can see it. And then I tried it with the Lindy's, but it didn't work either. So, but okay, Joe, we will. But I love this. So this worked out really cool. Of course, my jelly plate always works out for me. But anyway. <laughs> so, thank you everyone for coming. See you all later. Bye.